What were your experiences with James Dean working on the well, film? Well, you know, he was very young then, and he was very quiet and kind of timid. He didn't talk too much to anybody, and he was always in his jeans, you know, his shirt, like in squares, and just like that all the time, mm -hmm. and with the rope in the head, as you said. The briata. You know, like play with the rope, and I always thought, you know, what is he doing with that little thing, doing like that and doing that? that? I, I could, I, I didn't understand what was happening. But, you know, later on, I understood when he was around the, the oil well, and you know. It's incredible to see him do that rope stunts. Yes, he in did the film. it very well. You know, he really was getting into his role in a very powerful yes, way, and there was always working on his role, and. Uh, well, uh, he was a little bit strange, this boy, for me. <laughs> yes. I said, well, well what, is, what is going on? What happened with him? And uh, he used to get near me and talk two or three words, not too much. Yeah. Just a little bit. And, uh, well, I was very timid, and I could hardly speak English. I don't speak English now, but I speak more than then. <laughs> and uh, and I said, well, you know, and one day he came over me and said, Elsa, will you be so kind to translate this to me? And he, he uh, handed me a letter. And I said, well, he wants me to translate it to, from Spanish to English. And I said, my God, what am I going to do if I hardly can speak English? So he gave me the letter. And it was in Italian. It was, <laughs> it was not in Spanish. So I said, ah. And the letter was from Pier Angeli. Ah. And that I saw it. It's not a lie. I didn't invent it. So I started to read that thing. And uh, well, I couldn't, un I understood a little bit because Italian, a little bit is like, Spanish, but not really. No, it's, it's very different. It's different. So I translated a little what I could do at the time. And well, it was Pierre Angeli that later on I learned he was in love with, she was in, you know, he was in love with her. Yes, and I, I had that experience. And how I, about, uh, you know, did you have any scenes with uh, Elizabeth Taylor? Yes, I had the one in the car mm -hmm. when we were uh, singing South of the Border. Yes. The one at the hotel. Yeah. Remember? The one in the restaurant where they had uh, Rock Hudson and the owner of the restaurant had the big fight. Yes. Uh, Which is a fantastic scene. It's a. It's one of the most fantastic scenes I ever seen in the movie. Yeah, it's in wonderful. a movie, wonderful. The um, she's so dominating in the movie, you know, and so powerful. It's hard to believe that she's only twenty four. And in a way, you know, when she's older, she's even stronger. You know, she plays that so yes. powerfully. What were your and memories of her oh. and uh, and the way she would perform? Oh, I just love it. You know, the first time I went in, into the set in Hollywood, when I already had hired me, so I went there, and they were having a scene where she came down the stairs mm -hmm. with a kind of purple dress, beautiful. I think that when she met Rock Hudson. Yes. And I just couldn't believe how beautiful that woman was. She looked like a, something out of this world, you know, going down the stairs. And I never forget, I never will forget that scene. I, I, I don't think, she's so beautiful in this movie. I, I don't think anyone has ever forgotten how beautiful she is in this Well, I in think she film. was beautiful in all her movies. <laughs> yes, she was.